first of all, I want to show you the new advanced awakened mind pattern. The white outline is uh, the pattern that we've been using uh, in beta, where beta is 60% of alpha, and so is theta, also 60% of alpha. You see how they are, um, the amplitude is the same on both of them. So um, Max K prescribed uh, that the awakened mind is 30 to 60% uh, of beta and 60% of theta to alpha. So the advanced awakened mind, Steve and I were talking and emailing back and forth and realized that there was an opportunity to advance the pattern by making beta 30% of alpha. So that's what this pattern represents. Laura got now 30% and you can see that her pattern has not, her scores have not changed a whole lot. She had training level five, 79% with, uh, with the current pattern and now on this advanced awakened mind pattern, she's got 76%. Um, and it's because her beta was low to start with. Her beta was actually lower than that prescribed pattern, the original awakened mind pattern. Now on some, some people it does matter um, and the scores are very different. Uh, and you can see that he has more gamma. Uh, his gamma is more amplified up here in the 49 and 59 bands and consequently more amplified in the 30, 38 band because we have this flow down effect in the mind mirror. Um, the mind mirror is just as organic as neurons in the brain are. Uh, what affects uh, one, an amplitude that affects one frequency bar is going to affect another frequency bar, at least in the high amplitudes here. According to the old pattern, he had, uh, on training level five, 90% rewards. Um, but when you put the advanced awakened mind on him, then he moves down to 77%. So a shift from 90% to 77% is so significant that what it basically says is that he could continue to train on training level five. But you see those big high gamma amplitudes there? So it is going to make some differences for people. The big benefit is going to be that this more stringent criteria of the 30% instead of the 60% of alpha means that um, it's not going to be such a huge leap down to training level four. And people are going to be able to train on training level five more of the time. Um, I don't know why, nobody seems to know why, but when you go from, when self-trainers move from training level five because they've got 90% or 85% of rewards and they go down to training level four, the brain does get frustrated. The brain s seems to be saying something like, what do you want of me? You know, it's, <laughs> it's just a, a quantum leap and the demand that we're, we're making on it. Um, so one of the benefits of using the advanced awakened mind is going to be that you can hang around at training level five more. Um, it's going to be more challenging to get rewards at training level five. Um, is what we're saying is that um, with the 60% of alpha uh, that we have had in beta for the original awakened mind pattern, people were getting higher scores. Once we reduce the percentage from 60 to 30, the scores are going to go down. So that's something that uh, people who already like Laura have super quiet beta. That's a minor, that's three percentage points. That's a minor change. But people who are having uh, running this gamma, it's going to be a major change from them. So there's a question, does this person really want to train the awakened mind or are they going to be training gamma synchrony in the first place? Well, David has gone on to train gamma synchrony because he's got this gamma. This is reduced, uh, released a new uh, EEG sensor. Uh, it's fabulous for us because instead of measuring 
0.5 to 64 hertz, it's measuring 0.5 to 100 hertz. So we're going to be able to look at uh, way higher frequencies of gamma. Our uppermost 64 inside this 59 band, uh, we're going to have the option to add more gamma bands on. So this opens up um, all kinds of possibilities for us in terms of measuring healers and EFT changes, you know, what exists is, is there, as I have often posited, is there an evolved mind? Are we really looking, when we're looking at high amplitude gamma above these regular mind mirror frequencies, are we looking at the bottom of an evolved mind pattern? Is that what that is? We're going to be able to see that now. So it's fantastic for us. Um, you know, there's been a lot there's been a lot of research by neuroscientists but they're all looking at uh, these individual EEG you know category amplitudes in an isolated way but we're definitely seeing uh, some extraordinary things we definitely see that this gamma rides on the theta and the delta and we we've also seen that um, the evolved mind pattern produces gamma starts the production of gamma when someone flare, flares into that evolved line pattern that that there's gamma involvement so looking at the higher frequencies you know the whole pattern's probably a flow down from the higher frequencies esoterically speaking <laughs> and um software speaking as well i have very few experience with gamma but uh, i've seen that it does when people are working in gamma, um, something is happening on the, in the revolution. I have seen people being able to work on gamma and re really uh, developing themselves as a spiritual people. Amazing. So I don't know what came first working on gamma or becoming spiritual i don't know but there, there was a link between uh, both yes yeah, so this is a, a tremendous interest to all of us i think um and, mm. and it's a chicken and egg question you know who knows um certainly if you develop your brain waves uh from the silent no beta meditation pattern into the awakened mind pattern with problem solving beta and there's a progression on into the evolved mind circle um, at any point you can have a spontaneous illumination that gives you <laughs> gives you the gamma or it can develop out of those progressive patterns so I don't, I don't know that anyone knows. They certainly know, the neuroscientists certainly know that the Buddhist monks and the Carmelite and Franciscan nuns who have these spiritual devotional practices are the ones that have produced a lot of gamma uh, or are producing a lot of gamma. Um, but it's also true that you can go down into an awakened mind meditation and have very high amplitude theta and delta, and then the gamma starts to ride on top of that. So um, it's my best guess is that it's an expansion of, of awareness from the human self to a spiritual self. And however you do that, whether it's in a progressive way or whether it's uh, a sudden connection with your source, um, it has these extraordinary effects of giving you more brain cells and synchronizing the lobes of your brain and making you more compassionate because you then see and understand things that you didn't have access to before. So how it happens depends on who you are. <laughs> Don't you think? It may have a relationship too uh, between the synchronicity of left brain and uh, right brain. It Definitely. could have a, a link to the flow. Definitely that. Definitely that.
-hmm. And that was one of the first things Max said, that no higher states of consciousness are possible without uh, bilateral hemispheric symmetry. So, yeah. Yeah, they knew that back in the 1960s. That's how all higher states start. You synchronize the brain to start with. And, but it's also true that going down into theta is what synchronizes the brain. So one, the main way we do it anyway.